Welcome boys to the brand new SCP RTS Battle Simulator, SCP The Expedition. I've been given an early copy here for a playtest and I'm very excited for it. Name your MTF unit. We're going to name it uh, the, the Daily but Booty Munchers. <laughs> Booty Munch. <laughs> Boot Munch. But we'll do but much. Very nice. <laughs> You've given your mobile task force a name that stands out in the SCP world. A name that signifies boldness and creativity. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so now the Daily Butt Munch picks our uh, team here. Uh, Alright, so we've got all these different values. This is interesting. I'll, I'll try and go for like a fairly balanced team. Camilla seems to be the most balanced of all those. And then we'll go for a heavy hitter. Uh, Jose who's got a lot of health and then let's go for someone who could do a lot of action points um, Oh, he's got a lot of health and a lot of action points But I think we want someone Who's got a little bit more move distance too and then finally we'll go with Rifle training we woo Lu. nice okay, so prepare the expedition here Operation Ruby Abyss. Communication with the Red Lake research team has been abruptly lost. Weather interference was suspected, but now fears of another abomination emergence loom. The Pathfinders were sent to investigate, but have also gone silent. As the leader of a specialized MTF force, uh, you're now tasked to infiltrate the facility, uncover the truth, and report back to the SCP Foundation. Let's get it, baby. Oh, we get to select gear. I'll do this real quick. Never mind. We only have rifles apparently right now. Good so I guess agents. maybe we need to unlock them. We've got a real mess on our hands. Oh god. The last few days have seen complete silence from our research and it's stationed at Red Lake. We're dealing with something much bigger than usual. It's with the weird um it's like, well, it's not new to uh, uh, ukulele music <laughs> to say the least. For the finer details of this mission, we've got a seasoned professional who's dealt with these sorts of situations. Okay. Introducing Dr. Juliet Morrow, our special operations coordinator. She'll walk you through the ins and outs of what to expect. Dr. Morrow, you have the floor. Thank you, Dr. Clough. No one to the pressing issue. <laughs> this is AI or uh, to <laughs> text to speech. Originating from the lake, making the situation Bro, hit me up. I'll do the voice acting for this. The circumstances surrounding the loss of communication. Just make it a dude. Are still unknown. They were last heard reporting strange activities and possible anomalies. After which, silence. We dispatched a team, the Pathfinders, specialized in hazardous reconnaissance and anomaly tracking. Yet, the unnerving part is, they too have gone silent. We lost contact soon after they reached the lake. The occurrence of these two incidents together suggests an escalated threat, possibly beyond our initial understanding. Given the gravity of the situation and the potential risk involved, we need you to approach this mission with utmost caution. We can't afford to lose another team. Copy that. Investigate the site. Identify the threats. But remember, your safety and the safety of your team are paramount. Your main objectives are to secure the facility, shed light on the current situation, and reestablish communication. We're relying on your expertise for this mission. Good luck, agents. Sounds good. Let's get it, baby. All right, so here's our boys right here, which is kind of cool. And it looks like we can move our agents around. I was kind of the, under the impression it might be somewhat like um, XCOM, but it doesn't seem to be that. All right, we'll go. Uh, who was the one who had like, I think Jose had a lot of health. So we'll make Jose the point man here and he's going to be able to get things done. All right, we've got a Humvee up top here. Uh, looks like there's some provisions potentially in the mix that we could snag. Alrighty then. E to pick up uh, the items you want in the vicinity. Alright, so we just snagged. What did we get? A medical kit? Nice. And a defib unit. That's beautiful. Alright, we like to see that. Looks like we've got fuming something. Operational order. Situation requires immediate response. Time is critical. If you encounter obstacles, continue on foot. We cannot to lose time so that's uh, what the other mission ended up having We've got another object here another medical kit all right we'll snag that inventory tutorial oh you can go ahead and equip items 
to people. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, Jose, you should probably have explosives. You can have medical kit. We'll give you the defib. Nope, we cannot give you the defib, I guess, but we'll give, yeah, more medical units as well as some more grenades there. Got like a barricade or like a checkpoint up top here. Well, what's happening here, boys? All right, transcript, uh, Staff, transport, supply, delivery. Okay, so there's a lot of boys inside the base here, I guess. Oh, oh, we got some dead boys up here. Oh, oh, they went kersplat big time. Yikes, dude. Over here, I need, what do you, what do you need, buddy? You there, I'm here. What happened, buddy? Uh, it was a massacre. They hit us hard and fast. We didn't stand a chance. Who are you? Can you tell me anything about your team? I'm Agent, codenamed Spectre from MTF Pathfinders. We're a specialized unit focused on recon infiltration. Spectre, huh? You guys were sent to scout the situation? Yes, you were supposed to, to get the layout of the land, assess the situation, provide intel, but chaos insurgency, they were, they were ready for us. All right. We were ambushed, attacked here. Okay, how many were there? They had the numbers and the element of surprise. Two dozen of them, maybe more. All right. What was the current status of the facility? How bad is it? I don't know, we barely made it. All right, so they didn't get inside this facility. All right, understandable. Rest of your squad. They didn't make it. I'm the only one left. Hang in there. All right, cool. See ya, buddy. Good luck. We got uh, Operation Intel here. There's, there's maybe a little too much uh, reading versus storytelling. Tends to be a problem uh, in some games, but that's okay. Also, the music is so loud. I'm gonna try and fix that. I really hope it's not copyrighted music uh, because that would definitely hurt the video, uh, but we shall see. Okay, this is actually, yeah, looking like the facility here. We've just got like a huge freaking door. What do we got here? Show me inside. Closed. Okay, copy that. <laughs> Can we not blow it up or something? No, we're just gonna dip on that. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, this gateway over here appears to be opened, which is good for us. We don't have to find another way in. It looks like an explosive barrel over there, and we've got more dead guys. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, incredible. Uh, analysis report. Unusual compounds detected. Unknown elements found. Alrighty then. Uh, we'll pick up all of that crap there. And we have a bio report here. Multiple appendages seemingly adapted for aquatic life. So people are transforming here, I guess. What did we pick up? Old calendar page. It has a date marked from a few years ago and notes from a failed experiment. Okay. Well, that's strange. There's all these cages around here too. And everyone seems to have died in very horrific ways. Coordinated attack dispatch, strike at 0300 hours, Alpha and Bravo, units converge on the target, leave no witnesses. Okay, copy that. That's spooky. Let's go ahead and acquire whatever this is here. All right, it's a battery. Um, depleted battery. That's, oh! Oh, hold on. We, we've actually got enemies here. Hold on. Unless those are good guys. I think that might be the chaos insurgency, though. Alrighty then. Hello? Sirs? Oh, so it does kind of become like XCOM. All right. Okay, so it basically does work exactly like XCOM. So, Jose, you're in the front lines here. I'm gonna move you up this way. And then we do have enough moves for a second attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you throw a grenade right there. We got one kill. Second, did not manage to get a kill right there. Uh, we'll move, uh, well. 60%, 55%, and that's 62%. We're gonna take that shot. Good, we got the second kill on the flank right there, and we'll move you over here uh, to take cover behind. Camilla, uh, what are you looking at? 60% shot rate, I'll take it. Terrible, okay, not good. All right, take cover behind the barbed wire right there, and then we've just got William left. Head over here, and then 60%, uh, 78%, that's pretty good shot percent. And he whiffs it. Okie dokie then. All right, we'll go next turn. It is now the opponent's turn. Let's see what they end up doing. So this is the Chaos Insurgency. We take damage on Wei Lu, and that is all she wrote right there. That's not too bad. We got 60%. Nice, good hit, good hit. We'll take another 100%. That's obviously we're gonna do that. Beautiful. Okay, Jose, my guy. Uh, 
move you over here. And then we'll rifle attack. Okay, 100%. Nice. And Camilla, we'll try and move you kind of forward a little bit here. 43%. Might as well take the shot. Didn't get the kill, so we'll go next turn. And they did some more damage to William there. So we'll move Camilla up. Go into rifle attack and try for that. 54% and we absolutely headbang him. Beautiful. Jose, you're going to move forward here. And uh, all right, we can't take whatever that is yet. But we got 100% chance on that and we hit it beautifully. We'll send William forward and we're just going to go heavy on the attacks here. Go real hard. 95% easy kill. Nice, nice, nice. All right, good stuff. So we can pick up the medical kit right there. That's good stuff, and that was, what was that? Uh, toxic fruit. Interesting. All right, we'll equip another explosive grenade there. We're gonna use the medical kits on our boys here. Beautiful, okay. That's actually really awesome. Um, okay, so we can go that way or this way. I'm guessing this way. Go up the hill. There's the blood lake right there. I'm sorry, the ruby abyss. <laughs> Very nice, all right. Wei Lu leads the way per usual. Oh, treat. Oh, we already we already did this. We, oh, they they literally injured Camilla, so I would have to treat her. Okay, thanks, thanks. Yeah, she was not injured prior. Oh, we got more insurgency over this way, so we're gonna have to push in. Great. Let's see what this gets up to. Hello, boys. All right, the art of covers. Okay, so the enemy actually gets the first turn here. And they didn't do anything. Beautiful. Wei Lu is going to move forward into cover here. 93%. And that did almost no damage. Holy cow. All right, we'll move you up this way, Camilla. And we will go for 95%. Uh, Easy. Okay, wow. We are not getting the big damage here today. No, sir. I am going to grenade this boy, I think. Because that does more damage than rifle shots. Not that much more, though. Oh, okay. We'll move you behind cover here, too. If we could kill just one of them, I'd be happy. Yes, okay. Good. So now it's the enemy turn, and we'll see. Okay, he does some damage to William. 60%. Nice. Good hits. Good hits. See if we can end it with uh, Camilla back here. Nope. Alrighty, then. These guys are tough. Wei Lu, we're going to push you out here. We're gonna have you do 100% damage. Beautiful! Okay, so apparently there is talent points we can do, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, why don't we upgrade your health and loadout, sure, yeah. That's fine, and that actually gives him an extra equipment slot, which is pretty awesome. Um, actually, medical kit William Taylor right there. We'll give you a toxic fruit. I don't know what it does, but good luck with that. Um, we'll give you more energy, I guess, and agility, because it gives you a dodge percentage. And then for you, we'll give you an extra health point, sharp eye, and double sharp eye. Why not? Uh, this is just a tutorial, so it's not like, uh, you know, all of our upgrades are going to mean all that much and stuff like that. Well, it's not a tutorial, but it's uh, early access, so I think pretty much progress will guaranteed be lost, and, and this is the only mission we do, so I'm not too worried about, like, actually investing in all of the different abilities and stuff like that but it is fun to see that it does uh end up working somewhat in our favor there. that's pretty cool okay so we're gonna move up this way and it looks like we've got more portions of the wall here but no enemies as of yet all right we're at the other portion of the lake down this way find more traces of the chaos insurgency we got another checkpoint here that's the bridge we couldn't go over before but it looks like we've got some dead boys up here all right we got some items we can pick up it looks like a mix of our own mtf boys as well as uh their boys are dead over here nothing too crazy oh and there's just a dude sitting over this way <laughs> what are you doing you're just chilling with the dead bodies is that what's going on here? What's up? Everything's gone. You've arrived too late. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name's Henrik Olsen. I'm a scientist uh, observing the creatures emerging from the lake. We were examining the unique properties of the water. It was different and the creatures that came out of the lake were even more intriguing. What happened here? 
uh, with a trembling voice, oh, The chaos insurgency! They arrived so suddenly. They abducted most of us. The scientists took control in the blink of an eye. Why did they target the scientists? Uh, they must be plotting something massive. Um, Lars Bergman was taken. Uh, he's from Sweden. Why did they abduct him? He was the key. The insurgency utilizes his knowledge. Can you describe the insurgency's attack? They mainly attack from the east. Okay. All right. Head back and call for reinforcements. All has lost so many years of research. Dude, shut up. <laughs> All right. Let's move out. I don't want to hear your whining, guy. I don't want to hear your whining. Okay. So, we learned some parts of the attack, but now we have to check out the path the Chaos Insurgency has entered, which is obviously this way, <laughs> from all of the dead bodies here. Let's go ahead and pick up this. Oh, this is the manifest, so they, they got a lot of grenades in. They had many, many grenades to speak of. Nice. Look at this. Look at this sneaky little guy back here. Oh, an ambush. <laughs> all right. Well, they're going to move out. Let's see what we can do here. They're going kind of far away. We lose, suffered a little bit of damage there. Nothing too serious though. Uh, and they're out in the open, so we should be able to get easy damage on them. So let's actually be fairly aggressive here. Get nice and close. Maximize our damage as well as our aim here. I think we're only going to be able to kill one. Very, very sadly. All right, go for him. Nice. Beautiful. Lopez, get up here. And let's go for one more snap. 80% gets the hit. We're going to get shot here for sure, though. And yeah, Lopez suffered a little bit of damage right there. There's really not too much you can do about it, sadly. Um, there we go. Got the kills. Okay. Beautifully done. Get the medical kits. What is this? Explosive grenade. That's helpful. Transmission. All right. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and heal up our boys real quick. Do, 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 and... All right, that's enough. Um, and basically, if someone goes down, it looks like we can use the defib unit to try and help them up, which is pretty cool. All right, so if we push through this way, it looks like there's some more kits. Interesting. This looks like it's primed for a trap. Well, there's enemies out that way, but that's a lot of loot. Uh, tactical advantage tutorial. Discover a variety of unique grenades as you explore the SCC, SCP world. Alright, so we're gonna get a bunch of different grenades, I guess. And then there's a little kit here, too. And we should equip those. A gas grenade. Heck yeah. Absolutely taking a gas grenade. Boop. Um, we'll get rid of one of the med kits and a flame grenade. Sounds sick. Let's do that. Alright, push up. Okay. They've got like a heli here. Actually, quite a number of soldiers. All right, interesting. This must be where they had been regrouping at. So do we get to go first? Yes, thank God we do. Okay, the heli is booting up here. All right, this is just an explosive grenade. Can hit these two. Boom, baby. All right, one kill, that's beautiful. And run back here because then you're kind of behind that tree like a little bit. We'll move you up to this tree here too. All right, and you do not have a grenade, so you're just gonna have to gun. And that's all I got for you. Uh, all right, you move up here. We're just trying to use the grenades, I guess. Gas grenade, this is like a war crime, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> nice, so he is poisoned now. And I actually have an explosive grenade with him too. Go ahead and use that back there. Try and get that guy behind cover. Nice, doing a heck of a lot of damage. Very nice. Flame grenade sounds sick, but you know what? We should probably just rifle first. Missed. Yikes, dude. Okay, these guys are coming forward. Okay, that's a lot of troops. We did not finish a lot of them off. Okay, enemy agents are missing a lot, though. Good for us. All right, flame grenade. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Move up here, and then we're going to flame grenade. All right. Okay, barely hits, but we'll do it. Nice, that's a burn. We'll move you back a little bit. All right, William. William Afton. Nope, wait, wrong franchise. Okay, go after that. Nice, all right. Clapping their cheeks big time. Uh, and 92%. And he misses. You gotta be kidding me. All right. Oh, you get a second attack. I think that's because of one of our things. All right, next turn. 
That heli is really gearing up, isn't it? Oh, are they heading for the heli? They are kind of heading for the heli. Interesting. All right. Go for him. Nice. And then go for him. Okay. Yeah, that was a that was a long shot. All right. Push up here, William. Willy. Wilhelm. 85%. We take those. Oh, headshot. Yeah, baby. Okay. Now you. Silva. Silva, Silva. Go for... These are all terrible, terrible percentages for us, but... We'll go for him. Oh, and she nails it because she's the goat. Beautiful. Alrighty then. Way loop. Nice. Alright, beautiful. They've only got one troop remaining. Alright. Let's see here. William Afton gets the kill. No, he just gets the hit. Alright, move Waylu over this way. Let's see if you can hit this. 33%. Nah, tragic. Okay. Jose, come on over. Let's see if we can do this, boys. Come on. 8% is just not even close to enough. <laughs> We're just a little too far away here, I guess. 25%. And he hits it. Beautiful, but the heli goes away. Okay. Wow, interesting. And here we have this. Okay, I think this is like a trailer for sort of what's coming up. Can you solve the SCP mysteries? All right, well, very cool. Um, looks like there's a lot that's going to be going down in the future. Confront the uh, chaos insurgency. So we didn't really see any SCPs. We Well, I guess the lake is technically an SCP, right? Um, which is kind of cool. So I think we could skip this. Um, all right, so you can wish, li wish list the SCP expedition. Uh, it is, uh, wait, uh, gonna be available February 22nd. Not too bad. Yeah, go check it out, guys. Seriously, it's, it, that was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, it's definitely got a lot of potential. I like the combat system. Um, I think it needs a little bit more uh, variety, and I think the SCPs actually will add that quite a bit um, and increase the difficulty just a tad, and I think it would be very fun. But this is just a play test, so you got to remember that. Either way, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.